It's no secret that most farmers do keep broiler chickens and not layer chickens. You generally have more people farming broilers compared to the number of people who are farming layers. Here on our farm, we have a 40,000 capacity broiler parent stock farm but just 10,000 capacity for layers and it's very easy to understand why you have more farmers doing broilers than layers number one the risk is less number two the investment is less so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to become rich as a broiler farmer because like I said most people actually are doing broilers and it's very probable that you are either doing broilers or you're very interested in doing broilers so please stick around Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Daniel, a retired medical doctor who has a deep passion for farming and especially in poultry farming. I've devoted my life and time, at least for now, to making sure that people outside there understand this thing called poultry farming. I spend a lot of my time and efforts teaching people about poultry farming here on the YouTube channel, physically in a lot of places, on the Farm Up Academy. So if this is your very first time on the channel, come on, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. You don't want to leave this place. This is where the life is. So smash that subscribe button and don't miss a single one. So there's a reason why most people actually do choose to go into broiler, despite the competition that's there. It's because the demand is over there. There is demand. People eat chicken every day, each and every day. It's the most commonly eaten meat in the entire world. It's quite cheap also compared to some of the other meats. And it's quick and easy to raise. So if you want to join, you shouldn't worry that the market is super saturated. No, there's still a lot of room for you to enter. And the things to do, like I always say, are very basic. Number one, identify a proper location. Now the location is so important. I can't emphasize this enough because it will determine your market number one and it will also determine your nutrient stroke raw material supply if you get a location that is too far away from any form of civilization then you're going to be in trouble because you're not going to have anyone to sell your birds to if you get a location that's just next to a place that's very busy you have a lot of let's say street food and the people who are preparing chicken everywhere on the street come on it's going to be way way easier for you so you need a location that's not too far away from your market and that will ensure that you have lots of people coming over for you to you not know, buy stuff from you but you also don't want your location to be too far away from your raw material supply if you're getting maize you know you need maize bran you need let's say soya the things that you need to prepare the food for the chickens if the place is too far away then you're going to get into trouble because you might be very close to the market but then if you need to move 200, 300 kilometers before you get feed for your chickens then all the money that you could have taken into your pocket is going to go into transporting feed from a really far away distance and if you need to buy feed from near then it's going to be very very expensive. The business won't work everywhere. If you want to decide that you want to join the business, you might need to shift. You might need to move your business premises or location just to reach a place that is fit for you. A place that will work for you. Number two, get your market and try the best that you can to maintain it. You see, people say that there is no market. Market is difficult to find. No, market is not difficult to find. It's because people are not putting in the effort. The market is not going to come looking for you. You've got to look for the market. The people that you want to sell to, they have other customers, but come on, you just need to be nicer to them. It's like trying to get a wife or a girlfriend, you know, someone to live with or trying to find a husband. I think it's, I'll use the man on this example. It's very difficult to find people who are just there free. Almost everyone that you go and date has been dated before by someone else. Most times you take over from someone, you know. Someone will say, ah, she broke my heart, but hey, she didn't just break your heart. Someone stole her heart. Same thing. There's someone who will come and convince you better than someone else. It's the same thing. You know, this customer, they're just someone's girlfriend. You come and convince them, give them better terms, be nicer to them, soothe them, cuddle them. Of course, not literal cuddling, but you understand what I mean? They'll most probably switch, you know? So it needs to be active looking for the market. Go to the restaurants in your local area. Find out where they, get, they get their chicken from. Identify where the gaps are. Are they very happy with their supplier? What are the gaps with that supplier? Then you take over. And when you take over, don't make the same mistakes that person made because someone else is going to come and take them away from you. Come on. Try the best that you can to maintain that market. Make sure that you have things in stock. If you've decided you're going to join the broilers business, the easiest way in broilers business is that you need to make sure you consistently have birds. If you have a restaurant that takes birds, 50 birds every week, come on, make sure you have 50 birds every week. And so that means if you want to stock 
let's say 300 birds, you're not going to stock 300 birds in one go. You're going to do 50 every week, you know. You stock 50 birds every week. That ensures that every week you have 50 birds to give to that customer. Otherwise, if a time comes, a week comes, and you don't have those 50 birds, that person is going to look somewhere else. And if they look somewhere else, and that person is nicer to them, they cuddle them better, you know, they soothe them better, you've lost a girlfriend. Come on. You've lost a customer. So make sure that you don't lose your customer. Don't give your customers an opportunity to go somewhere. Do everything you can to ensure that there is no opportunity. There is no reason for them to go look somewhere else. Try the best to better yourself. Maintaining your customer basis is super important, especially in Brailler's business because it's very competitive. And if you keep those birds on your farm without the market, come on, you're going to be losing money because after 30 days, 35 days, however long or whatever target weight you have, if you keep keeping the birds on the farm, then you're losing money because you're not getting any money and you're putting in money for the feed. And the person who's going to come and buy them is not going to pay any extra money because you've kept them for longer. So it is very important that you are nice and you cuddle your customer. Number three, stock high quality birds. Now this is where farm up comes in with our awesome chicks. You know, these are our breeder chickens. These are broiler parents and they are being raised in the best possible way. You can see the structures that we are raising them in. They're not like super expensive structures, but the attention to detail is very important. You can see the aeration on the structures perfect aeration the air goes in properly goes out there's no ammonia stuck inside there we do all the proper biosecurity measures over here you can see how spaced the houses are you can see you know, ideally it should be you know 20 meters 15 to 20 meters we've done 30 meters between the houses and that ensures that the risk of bringing disease to each other is minimized there's proper biosecurity people take baths before they enter the houses it's important that you get buds from a high quality source get the very best buds that you can get you get buds from a poor quality source come on your failures have started even before you start yeah before the buds reach your farm you're in trouble because they won't reach the target weight in time the feed conversion is going to be very bad you'll feed them and they won't get the weight they could probably start getting very sickly they won't have nice futures you know a nice breast a nice thigh because that's what we the chicken eaters look out for so you need to make sure that you get high quality bad because it all starts from the roots it all starts from the genes if the genes are bad it doesn't matter what you give them it doesn't matter how nice the feeds are you're in trouble stock the best buds and stock farm up chicks i leave our phone contacts in the description below just in case you want to order that's if you're in uganda outside uganda thinking about you and working on you but hey ugandans our phone contacts are in the description just go there and call us right now before we run out of stock because broilers oh my god they are booked out like super quickly and i don't want you the people who are watching this video to be the ones to miss out you know the ones who are not watching can miss out but you who is watching it would be sad so come on book number four give the birds high quality feeds high quality feeds super 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 important i can't emphasize this enough unfortunately i won't be able to recommend to you this place or this place to get feeds from because feeds are everywhere there's lots of feeds from different areas and i'm not here to advertise for other companies of course but it's important that you get proper high quality feeds there are different types of feeds you can get feeds that have been completely mixed for you so you just give them to the birds usually they come as crumbles or pellets um, then you can get concentrate feeds where you just get a concentrate usually it contains the minerals the amino acids and some of them contain the protein content too and then you just need to add the you know the the, the energy the, the energy source which is usually the maize bran wheat bran or maize you know then there is where you just get everything yourself, mix it yourself. That's usually the more complicated one where people usually make the most mistakes. But the people who can do it really well. If you can't do it, then go for one of the other options. That would be the next big thing. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the birds because I saw some two cocks fighting. Interesting. Ah, they fight because they are territorial and they want particular areas. You come in their area, I'll beat you. Back to the birds. Make sure you get high quality feeds. Don't compromise on the feeds. I know the feeds might be expensive, but hey, if you compromise on the feeds, then you're 100% certain you're not going to make it because the birds will grow slowly. The, the quality of the meat won't be good, so people won't like the taste of the meat. Then the birds won't put on the weight that you want. If you compromise on the feeds, you're 100% certain of failing. If you do pay for the high quality feeds, well, you could make it. 
So I would rather you go for high quality feed than compromise on the feed. The other point is proper biosecurity. Exactly what we are doing on this farm. Come on, if you're a farmer, you don't want visitors on your farm. If someone is not coming to help the farm get better, these ones who are coming to visit, hey, I just want to see how your birds are doing, how nicely they look. Come on, you'll see how nicely they look when they're in your plate. Isn't it? They'll test really nice. But on the farm, those people, even if they are your friends, they are the biggest causes of problems. You're going to lose money. Come on, you're going to lose money. You don't want to lose money. So yes, pay attention to detail. Do proper biosecurity. Ensure that people don't just get into the farm. Even you yourself. Make sure you have proper uniform for entering your farm. Your clothes should be specific. They shouldn't move out of the area. You should have good gumboots. You should have a disinfectant for you to step in before you enter your chicken house. The area needs to be cleaned properly. You need to make sure that you've disinfected the place. Come on. Between lots, you know, between two different flocks, you need to have two weeks of an empty house. For broilers these days, we can do even just one week. But that's to make sure that everything has been cleaned out. You know, I don't advise people to keep reusing litter. Sometimes they can reuse litter for two different flocks, but hey, I don't advise people to do that. So make sure that the house is cleaned properly. Make sure that all the drinkers are continuously clean, the feeders are continuously clean, the place is clean, everyone enters properly, hands are washed, you bathe before you enter the place. They look like really, really simple things, but these are the ones that are going to make you either succeed or fail. So it's very, very important that you observe proper biosecurity and if you do that come on you're going to become rich you're going to become very rich and you'll be thanking dr daniel over here for all these tips so yes these are the main tips to ensure that you become rich now of course they look really basic you're thinking huh just that that's all i need to do come on that's all you need to do nothing more looks really simple but for some reason people don't like simple things yeah i know a lot of people are not going to do them hopefully it's not you if you're going to do them then you're going to become rich but hey, the money comes from the simplest of things. Just do these things. Of course, there's lots of details involved. It's difficult for me to talk about lots of details on this channel. But the basics are very, very important. So pay attention to these basics and then you'll be able to become rich through Braille Farming. Catch you very soon with another video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.